Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, we have jumped planets, and I've got everything, all the mechs back and everything. Let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. So I did a couple of minor alterations. Um, we got the night gear up and running. Um, <coughs> now these mechs are not laid out how I'd like them to be. We want to switch some of the stuff around, but as, as you can see, we're running into a bu bunch of uh, problems with sea bills at the moment. So they're laid out as best they're going to be. Um, the Hades, we switched out everything off of the Hades and we dropped it into the Night Gear Prime. So let's have a look at this real quick. Now it's not really what I want, uh, but it'll do for now. So we changed up the load up s loadout slightly. Um, we had two large improved heavy lasers before, two medium ER pulses and two ER mediums. Now we've got a couple of extra ER mediums and a large pulse in here. The heat sinking is actually relatively good. Uh, 95 out of 122 um, but that's not taking into account the heat dissipation armor for some reason when I take this off and put it back on again we don't get any change here so my guess is that um, we're gonna get a 15 percent decrease off of this alpha strike so I'm gonna try it out the way it is I've got a ton of prototype double heat sinks in here the exchanger like this is 15% uh, minus 15% heat. This is minus 20. This is another minus 15. So that's minus 50% right there. And then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's another 40%. So it's supposed to be minus 90% heat. It isn't really, but we won't really know until we get into battle. Uh, this has got um, bonus overheat threshold. Heat banks got bonus overheat threshold plus another minus nine heat per turn. So this thing is like should run super super cool and if it does we're going to cram a ton more lasers in here now i want to put a couple of er larges in um not 100 sure if that's what's going to be because this guy's going to be a pinpoint accuracy mech from distance so maybe a couple more er larges but we'll see how it goes um but that's this and the, the all the uh, all the stuff that we moved over was exactly the same as it was in the hades so the gunnery support a the predator for a bonus called shot and greater uh ranged accuracy sensor trackers for ranged accuracy and the range finder to give us better vision at distance so all that stayed the same uh, so that's what I do with the night gear and then the Hades I, I don't know I played around with this for hours and hours trying to figure out what to do with this with the equipment that we had I want to have an extra Mac just in case so the Hades here let's have a look at it it's once again it's not a hundred percent how I want this uh, but it'll do for now. So this guy's sort of a medium range mech. Uh, I put the enhanced imaging in it, give the pilot a bit more gunnery and piloting. Uh, fire control system. Uh, the only reason why I went this route um, improves the offensive push accuracy by plus two, which isn't really going to do much with the uh, the MRMs in here. Uh, but we do have the plus one. Uh, uh, missile accuracy with the battle, con battle control uh, computer and plus 4% uh, modifier for uh, targeting. Uh, so we've got two MRM 10s and an MRM 20, so an MRM 40 in here with 10, basically 10 turns of firing on either side with improved ammo and incendiary ammo. So uh, we, we've got um, five continuous turns of incendiary, five continuous turns of improved. So um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit like the um, the bushwhacker which we pulled out of service we've got three er mediums two clan and one regular and then a medium improved heavy laser for a closer range fighting this guy's going to move in a little closer so um, that's the way that this is laid out now the heating is not the best but it's not bad e either right so we've got a plus three heat sink engine here regular uh, double heat sinks uh, plus a clan exchanger to, to keep it nice and cool so yeah and we've got the uh, the uh, Increased missile range centers on this guy. Uh, I did that because the medium range missiles are 510, which is pretty good. Now now it's over 600, and with the pilots plus plus 10 percent, it's going to be around 650 or so, which is great for direct fire missile range. Uh, and that's going to put them outside of the e well, roughly about the same range as the ER mediums, but the medium improved heavy won't be firing all the time. It's going to be for close range only. So yeah. That's this guy. We're going to run it this way for now, see how it does, but I don't know. I'm not sure what else to do with it. I tried to do an auto cannon build, but there's just not enough weight in here to be able to do that. The MRMs are very light, 
So throwing them in makes it really, really easy. Um, most likely I want to cycle some st weapons out of the Thunderbolt. They're going to make their way into the Night Gear. And then some of the uh, weapons might go into Loki. Loki's weapons might go into the Thunderbolt with the MRMs. Uh, this um, Roughneck might get pulled out of service, in which case the weaponry might come off this. Uh, and it might end up going into the Night Gear, like the uh, Large Pulse might, or the Large Improved Heavy might go into the Night Gear. We'll see how it goes. Just cycling things around to get the best uh, use out of stuff. Um, the Roughneck might end up as an Ultra 10 build. Um, it's just going to take C-Bills and time, I think, more than anything. But now that most of our mechs, well, a lot of our mechs are, are um, our clan mechs, that's going to make things a little quicker to do things. So we're like, I think, I think we're half and half, half clan mechs and half non-clan. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, so let's jump straight into a contract right now. Let's go to the command center. We've got a bunch of missions here that we can take. So we've got some Jade Falcon missions, some Wolf missions, some um, uh, planetary government missions. Now, what I did is I turned up the difficulty by one. So we went from, I think it was warrior to pirate or whatever. We're, we're the second highest one right now, uh, difficulty setting. Um, and I also changed the contracts from one and a half skull to one skull. So now it'll be like, this is a four skull planet. So we get anything from three to five skulls missions. So hopefully we can get a lot more in our battle range. I'm thinking this is probably going to be good. Um, these three here are against our uh, clan on clan missions. So um, these are going to be good. Now this is, it's basically Wolf against Falcon. So I don't want to tank my rep with Wolf or Falcon too much. Um, Wolf is still pretty darn good. Um, we've got factual rep, rep, uh, sorry, Reputation 70 right now. And Jade Falcon is at 30. So we're kind of in the middle of liked. So we have to be careful we don't, one of these guys doesn't end up hating us. Um, so we've also got things like Forward Observers, uh, Stubborn Surrender, which I think we'll, we're not going to take right away. I want to see what the difficulty is like before we take this one. It's a four and a half skull against locals. Uh, but once again, their, their mechs aren't um, supposedly supposed to, be, supposed to be full strength. So I don't know if that's going to be true or not. But we're going to take Stolen Goods first. It's an ambush convoy mission against Jade Falcon, and we'll just see how it goes. Not sure what to expect here, but um, we're going to take it anyway, and go full salvage. And we're going to go with the, the standard Lance. Now, the Hades is going to get shipped over to... Um, how do I want to do this now? I think we're going to replace the Roughneck with the Hades. Um, the Roughneck's going to come out. I'm going to run the Night Gear, and then we'll run the standard, everybody else running the standard. Now I'm putting um, uh, Goofy back into the Hades, um, or into the Hades <coughs> with the MRMs, um, just because, you know, he was running a missile mech before, so now he's running a similar similar missile mech. So uh, let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, like this looks dusty and hot. Okay, so... Oh crap, please tell me you can actually move off here. First time, this crashed. Second time, we had a mech stuck up on a hill that didn't have a jump jet. So let's hope this guy can move. I, I don't think that he's going to be able to. But we'll see. Gonna move along the road here. So it's gonna be a bad planet to try out this uh, I'm you. night gear, but do what we can. Got it. Full speed, no target. Receiving you. Want to get up here as fast as possible. Commander. Well, at least you're not on a hill. She's got one jump jet, so she's okay, but. Gundal was stuck last time. Yes, Are you stuck? Can you sprint? Oh, you can. Beautiful. 
Nice. Okay. Fingers crossed this night gear does not overheat ridiculously. Okay, so we got convoy. It says two support lances. It could be a total of either two lances plus the vehicles, or it could be the vehicles plus their guards plus two supporting lances, which I'm not 100% sure of, which case it would be 15 mechs plus five vehicles. This is going to be interesting. Let's not get too close. Have no doubt it will primary target on screen, Commander. Yeah. Yeah, they got three lances plus the convoy. There could be reinforcements too, so I don't want to push too far this way. Yes, Commander. Moving out. I got the center tray. All right, we got a friggin' chopper. Now, can I get... No, we're not going to see him. Let's just move up into here. So the uh, MRMs from um, Goofy are going to be really important in this mission. Uh, what do we got here? No, well, we'll just pass on that. Only got so much ammo. Understood. Moving fast. Standing by. Acknowledged. I think that's going to be just as bad. Well, it's not bad. It's a Nidhogg. Let's hold off. Ready for orders. On my way. Double tap. I think you're probably yeah, we're gonna just hold off. Hellbringer? So Nidhogg's perform performing a little scout mission here. We're going to rip through him this next turn. Another Nidhogg. Okay, so far they're full armor, which is good. Those are most likely the uh, the guards for the, uh, the convoy. Don't know what the support lances are going to be like, though. What's he going to do? He's going to fire something or other. Hopefully we can rip through both of these guys this next turn. Speed the battle up and then also remove their uh, visual range. Come on, buddy. Decide what you're doing. Make up your mind! So yeah, I mean, raising the difficulty up one, I'm really just hoping for some good fights. Those last battles, I mean, we we did okay. I mean, there was nothing that was really dangerous, I guess. I wasn't really worried about losing. With the exception of the Five Skull mission, I wasn't really worried about losing. So and we got a lot of work to do before we take another Five Skull. AMS! AMS! That's the other thing, too, is we need to get more AMSs on our guys. Another Chapa. Okay, Balak's got weakened armor, so most likely the two escort lances are still weakened. It could just mean that, you know, um, the actual defenders go up in rank as opposed to the strength of the vehicles. So I might end up with tougher competition in the full um, 
hit point um, mechs and vehicles as opposed to the like uh, the the amount of armor on the mechs and vehicles being higher. Like I was hoping that the support, like there, we'd have the regular type of three three and a half skull uh, mechs and vehicles with all full armor, but they may just actually raise up the difficulty of the mechs, but not necessarily raise the armor up. So we'll find out. And this is just three and a half. Once we get to a four sculler, it might might really uh, begin to flatten itself out a bit. So I think all three of these choppers need to go down. But I think what I'm planning on doing with this particular one, normally I come up here and target them as they try and pass by. Um, but because I'm not sure with the difficulty setting as okay. the way it is, Minimal. they may get reinforcements over here. So, oh shit, SP artillery. So what I might try and do is come up this way, okay. using this as defense against whatever's down here, and shoot them back this way. That way if they do get reinforcements, I'm protected by distance. If we can take command, if we can knock out whoever gets up here first, like these choppers, and take command of this hill, we might actually be able to, uh, oh shit, force our hand a bit. What the hell was that? that one was a bad one right yeah, I can see that. What fired though? Warning. Armor low. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna cost us. Minimal damage. Light carrier. I'm not even going to attempt to uh, pronounce that name. Okay, so Mars Assault Vehicle I don't... Huitzilopchetli? It's going to call it the H. Night gear with lower armor. Carrier. Self-propelled artillery, which I think we can probably take down. Hellbringer C. Gunships. Demon tank. That guy's part of the convoy. Balak is not. Uh, Alright. Start off by doing this. I'm going to push these guys just a slight bit. Really bad chances with the ultras. Got to take it though. Um, we warlord this? I don't think so. Not yet. Okay, one hit, beautiful. Tags on. Commander. Let's get our stability back. And let's wreck this night gear. Um Yeah. This one I am going to Warlord for the better chance to hit. Good shooting. We need range. Okay, we're coming over here. Full and then we're going to take this guy out. Wow, it's only the large pulse that can hit that range? Oh, damn it. There goes a waste of a turn. Well, hit something. 
And he's going down. Beautiful. Well, it wasn't all a loss. Yeah, we got to take the flames. Roger. All right, let's see what we can do here. We could kill the Balak. Let's do this, cool off a bit, go after the Balak. See if we can take it out. All right. Come on, you got to hit. Okay, one hit, structure exposed. Okay, another Hellbringer. How is this guy doing? Yeah, we're going to dump everything into his side. That's pretty good for heat. I'm going to I am going to warlord this though because I want to get rid of this guy fast. Let's see if we can take him out. See ya. Okay, the Balak's yours. Got to start to spread out a little bit here. Um, not the best chances to hit, but we're going to take it. Beautiful. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Two down, one crippled. We're going to rain some LRMs on the uh, carriers now. He goes on 14. I don't know what those carriers go on. Ah, wow, man. Mastodon's still in low spirits. He was in, like, low spirits for 60 days or something. It was one of those quests where it was like, Hey, I got, hey, Dr. Murad, I got an idea. Why don't you try this? And she tries it and it doesn't work. Costs us 20 grand and he just, he gets depressed. It's like, dude, don't get depressed. I was the one that said go for it, not you. All you're doing is trying to make our our life a better like a our life on the ship a better uh, better place. So like I don't know why you're getting OPO'd. Okay, what's that back there? Shit, this guy's moving. So we have to open up in the demon tank next turn. What's this guy back here? Another night gear, prime. I have no idea what kind of strength it's at. There's another one over here too. So we got two Hellbringers and three Night Gears. Yeah, thanks for showing up. Alicorn. He's probably the last of the main vehicles. As soon as that Mars sticks its freaking nose out. Two carriers back here, eh? I don't know if I should split my missiles up between the two or if I should just now nah, we're get let's just see what the chances to hit are 21 this guy's probably the same yeah what if we close a little bit Get into here. Copy that. Now let's see if it's any different. 19. Yeah, we moved. It's worse. Come on, I should be able to select this guy. God. I don't want to tab. I just want to be able to select the guy I want. 19, huh? This guy. 24. Sure.
Well, we penetrated, but not enough. Oh, I <laughs> take that back. Why do I even open my mouth? <laughs> All right, he doesn't get to shoot. Or maybe he already did, I don't know. All right, this other Nidhogg is, the other, is one of the ones I'm worried about. Hellbringer. So it's the two Nidhoggs. The f one Hellbringer. Yeah, good luck now. You don't got the Nidhogg on us to uh, be able to see us properly, so good luck hitting us. We gotta take this other Nidhogg out. Nike Air Prime. He's the. I thought that Nike Air Prime was the missile version. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I think that's the D. I'm thinking of the, the one that I had, um, in Jade Falcon Freeborn. I can't remember what version it was. I think it was the D we had. That was the missile version that we took. It just looks like a missile mech. Here comes the H. Oh shit, that guy's gotta die. Hey, Commander, I'm taking some hits, huh? I see that. Losing armor. Yeah, a lot of nothing. Which guy was that? Oh, well, the night gear got up. He's overheating now. Okay. Uh, yes, Commander. You put friggin' mines down, didn't you, you bastards? You can't jump either. Let's see how much damage we take. Someone's got to try it out. Oh, it's too much. 25. Alright, let's get some incendiary on this guy. On target. It's only 12, eh? Target's taking a critical hit. It's going down, though. Oh, no, I guess he's not. Lower leg, so I guess it wasn't enough to take his leg off. Six hundred and forty armor. It's probably got about one twenty eight on the side. Another Hellbringer F, okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, now we got to be careful because they can um, if we hit if we kill too many of those guys, they're going to bring in their their uh, next lance. How much should we take here? 6 points. Okay. So Goofy ran through the entire uh, landmines here. Now is the time I want to ward. Actually, no, uh, too late. Let's see if we can blast this guy to the sky. We didn't get him, eh? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong guy, that's why. Okay, let's get into here. Seventy two on this guy. But he's almost done. Okay, uh, we can't multi, unfortunately. But let's claim the night gear. That's a kill. 
That is a kill. Okay, we're slowly starting to move apart a little bit here. All right. Uh, 660 armor. Let's leave it wound up. We're going to fire. Damn it. Why do you got to shoot so close? Yeah, don't blame me. Blame her. Well, blame me, because I wasn't, really wasn't watching. Did we kill the chopper? We did not. What's he doing now? Damn it, man. That's the worst place to put it. It should be right here. Right here. I almost want to go in there and suffer the direct fire. The enemy's coming back at me just to place that tag there. Oh, shoot. You know what? I got a tag barrage I didn't put back on my, on my mechs. I just realized that now. Get up here. Bad chances to hit, man. I'm telling you. All right, let's fire on him. Oh, Nike is trying to sneak up beside us here. How are we doing here? They're, they're down by four. Yeesh. On my way. Let's get into a good missile position here. Let's find a carrier that hasn't gone yet. We got, what, two guys back here? 24. Taking it. Firing on Is that enough? That hit something good. Just not enough. At least their main vehicles to back there move nice and slow. Uh, there's a demolisher too. Wow, what do you know? This is going to be interesting, guys. Yeah, I think the... I don't know. It's pretty balanced now, I think. I mean, I made some stupid moves for sure. Like firing those tags off too early.
Got to start bringing these guys down too. Yeah. Screw you. Go away. Reporting major armor loss. Yeah, I know. I'm losing armor bad. You are not. Okay, we gotta take out the Nidhog. That's for sure next turn. Then I think we try... What are you doing? Then I think we try and take out a lot of these lower armored vehicles. Okay. get rid of this guy. Reporting one less vehicle. Let's not give him something to direct fire at. Let's not give him an ass to shoot at either. Let's move back here. Okay. It's probably no, the Nidhogg's going on nineteen. This guy's got a lot of energy weapons. Um Get out of there. Eleven points from landmines. Okay. Uh, we're hot. I know that. Medium approved can come off. Yeah, let's go with the higher chance to hit and hammer them. Okay. Uh, copy. Ninety four. All we got to do, I think, is hit this guy's turret. So let's do this, see if we can pull him down. Target destroyed. Thank you. Get a solid blue on this guy. We don't want to be too close either. Finally got a chance to fire everything. Yeah, like like we're <laughs> we're using like no heat on this thing. All See ya. Enemy Can finally get into the fight. I'm receiving you. Okay. Uh we've got shot on this guy. We've got three turns to the barrage is back. Um, let's not move into a position where they can get some good shots on us. Let's fire on this guy. Okay, he's taking significant damage. Let's just back up here. You're the guy I'm worried about. You're in a bad spot here.
going to reserve you just to see what they do. We might be able to catch one of them off guard if they move up too far. Paste them with the Ultra 20 maybe. Let's hope that fire dies down this turn. Okay, he's backing up. I don't blame you, buddy. I don't blame you. Yeah. We've got a pretty good command of this place right now. Let's move over here. Sixty-one with the arrow, eh? We're gonna hold off on that. Now, where's the guy damaged? This guy? I think so. Let's just tab to through here. Night gear. Twenty-four for that carrier. Hellbringer. This carrier, twenty-four. Thirty-five for the alicorn. This guy could take a massive pasting. We could try and take him out. But I think we need to start eliminating some of the uh, missiles here. This is the guy we shot at before. Let's fire on him. Still not enough. Solid on that, one. that wasn't the guy we shot at before though, I don't think. It was this guy we shot at before. Damn it. Oh well. A lot of 22s, eh? We still got an ultra to go. I don't know if we've got enough for uh, vigilance. If we've got enough for vigilance, I'll throw it on uh, Gundal. Because I want to step out and see if we can take out like a demolisher or something. Maybe even this carrier, I don't know. The dem demolisher's got to go. We need to be able to fire on him, fire, and then fire a maneuver. He's in a bad spot because if these guys move, if he's caught out here in the open and they move forward on him, he's going to be in a big trouble. Hopefully these flames die down. We can step forward. We got enough, we do. Let's get a vigilance going. Just going to move to here. Um, uh, yeah. Wow, only one hit plus the tag. Okay, good damage though. We should be able to fire on him next turn and then back the hell out of there. Still going after the Hades, eh? Minefields. Got to get a, uh, jump jet in there. I, I'm sh I was sure I put a heavy jump jet in that guy, but I think I put it in the night gear. Gonna have to get some heavy jump jets. Okay, who are you gonna shoot at? Okay. Not so bad. We're gonna be firing and maneuvering. Okay, they're in a choke now. What I'd love to be able to do is take a rack on that road and just spray straight down the road. All right. Yeah, Gundal's going on 25. Goofy, beautiful. Uh, let's get into here. Uh, I want him gone, so we're going to go with everything on this guy. Solid connection on that one. Not enough, huh? Good to go. Hammer him again. Oh, yeah, man. Report. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Tuck yourself back in here. We're going to leave mediums off and fire the rest. Removed. 
Let's get down in here. We need to get those HE rounds going in a second. I know we got a minefield in the way. It's only going to be a few points. 12. Yes, Commander. Okay, we got sight on the lead vehicle now. I don't want to take the lead vehicle. That's not a bad move there. Because I think it, once that lead vehicle goes down, um, or the next vehicle goes down from the convoy, is when they're going to get reinforcements. Let's just fire on this guy. That rock was in the way, huh? Okay, let's... You're going to reserve. Because you're out of position right now. And let's reserve you too. So we got four we got three guys left. Infiltrator, Hellion, and Mastodon. Mastodon's gotta take out a carrier. The next vehicle I think we gotta take out is the Hexapoot Sorry guys, my pronunciation for stuff is really bad. Okay, this was the guy we shot at before. Eight and a half now. What the hell happened? What the hell happened to the chances to hit? They got more ECM or something up there? Alright, we're reserving. Let's see what they do. If they decided if they decide to stay in that choke. I don't know what we're going to do here. There's another carrier back on the road there, too. We got to get the Hades out of here. I'm showing minor damage. You got lots of armor damage. Half your armor's gone, buddy. Okay, he's decided to come out and target, get himself as a target. Yeah. Keep moving forward, guys. Keep moving forward. Not a friggin' minefield. I think we got a jump shot in the Grand Summoner, so we should just be able to jump out of there. Okay, hyper velocities. My mech is taking critical damage. Yeah. Don't worry, you're getting out of there. Okay, so you know, AMS really important now. As I've been told multiple times already. <laughs> Alright. I'm on my way. Let's give them somebody else to shoot for. Gonna put this to three. Uh gonna leave up the ER medium. Let's get a little bit of heat back. Let's hammer this guy. Mm -hmm. That'll do. That's the guy we want to kill this next turn. I'm Stop saying that. Damage. Stop saying that. I've only got one target. We only have one target. Wow, look at the chance to hit, man. It's crazy. All weapons committed. And this guy isn't even like 
totally loaded out yet. Wait till he's loaded out. It's going to be a completely different freaking story. Okay, let's get up here. All right, carrier. A pair of 15s and the tag. Oof, really? Why is it the carrier is so... Let's go this route. Confirmed. Not quite enough, eh? All right. Okay. Can we get into shred mode, please? Wait, where was that sh the lines for all the other? Huh. Moving. All right, let's just shred this guy. I don't. Th I don't know if they're going to get reinforcements, but let's make sure we shred him. Um, let's do a multi. B will take the LRM-15. A gets the rest. Here it comes. Okay, a couple of hits. Alright, duck. Normally I wouldn't ask you to do this, but you do have phantom mech, so let's keep our fingers crossed. Uh, how badly damaged is this guy? Doesn't matter, he's got to go down. Okay, let's snipe that other carrier if we can. Oof. That's a warlord. And it's a snipe. We're gonna go after him. There we go. Enough? That's not enough, really. Uh, let's reserve you. wasn't enough. They don't have too much left. That guy's like, he's he's getting afraid to get out there. Oh, that was a nice hit. He's got ultra 20, that guy. So they just got the Mars Assault Vehicle up to the convoy. Full this is what you call having balls, guys. Hey, probably a stupid move, but you know. This guy's got a lot of armor and a lot of weapons, but Let's take them. We got a shit ton of missiles coming for him too. Wow, good shooting. Got Mastodon and Gundal still that are going to go before that uh, Mars Assault vehicle. 
Okay, he's overheating. Enjoy the barbecue, buddy. Yeah. Took the bait. Well percent, eh? Okay, we got to clear this guy. Uh, actually, we got to clear the Mars more than anything. So let's do that. Let's clear the Mars. Let's warlord this. Drop everything on this guy. No, 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 no. We don't bug out. You know us. They're down to four. We're not going anywhere. Reporting minimal damage. We're taking a lot of damage off this one. Yeah, I know my field on the way. Not much I can do about it. This guy was guy with the Ultra 20. Two misses. Wow. Tags on though. Uh, no, this is going to be a multi-target. We're going to go A and B. And B will take the barrage because F him. Confirmed. Target destroyed. Awaiting orders. Can you get... You can. You shifty bastard. Look at you. Let's shred this guy, please. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I love it when the physics do things like that. And is it over the hill? Right between the goalposts. This is going to be a multi. Now, can we get the barrage on B? We can. He's nice and toasty. Beautiful. Enjoy that heat, buddy. You want to give this PPC guy... Oh, this guy hit you with an Ultra 20. Let's give him a little payback. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Stepping out like that. Hammer him! Have a seat, buddy. Have a seat and warm up. Infiltrator. Yeah, my field in the way. Not much I can do about that. Do I kill this guy? What's he got left in the CT? A whole lot. Uh, let's just fire on him. Wow. It's almost as good as pounding that Marauder. Yep. 
Yeah, give him a face full of it. And then there was one. Enemy down. So yeah, I'm going to have to rebalance everything. I think I'm going to sell a ton of mech parts to get some uh, C-bills. We're going to rebalance all our mechs, get the MSs in there. Yeah, we got to re retweak everything, but I think we're getting pretty close to being where we need to be as far as difficulty goes. Ooh, who's going to get the kill on this guy? We're going to go from right to left, so whoever's first on the right-hand side will go first. I'm receiving you. Just fire on him. That was a lot of leg hits. Reporting critical hit. Yep. Beautiful shots. Ready for orders. Roger. I know this guy shot you with the AC-20. You might as well kill him. There it is, folks. Tango down. Beautiful. Mission successful. So there you have it. One more tricky battle. We're going to take way more than 91,000 in repairs. Good thing we got an increase in contract payment. Oh, man. Grand Summoner, man. That's a ton of kills. All right. We need to take stuff to sell. Because if we don't, we are never going to make our... Uh, financial report. So we're going to take these three parts, put together a night gear. Now, if there's a uh, XL engine in here, oh, two laser AMSs. I think we got to take those. Oh man, LRM20s, look at all this. Thumpers, Ultra 20, Battle computer missile, cockpit, cores, probably XL engines, yes. No, I think we gotta go this route. Unless there's something really, really special down here. Remote sensor dispenser. Uh-huh. And then just ammo. Okay. All right, let's go this way and see what we get. Okay, so no more mech parts, which is fine. LBX-10, pair of LRM-20s. Okay, good. Medi more medium pulses, which we can sell because these things sell for half decent. Um, clan armor, some more case. Good, I can get rid of the crappy case. A couple of cores. I think we've got two of these now, so we can... No, we don't. Okay, we'll hang on to that, but we'll sell the 180. Heavy jump jets. Okay, we needed those. LRM Artemis ammo. We can always use that. Beautiful. So this actually... Okay, this wasn't actually too bad of a roll. Could have been way worse. Alright, so that's not too bad. That's bad. 36 days doesn't bother me. We have three fully operational mech bays right now. Yeah, I know. Thanks, buddy. Really? Uh, you told me that a couple seconds ago. Thanks. Wonderful. Nice to know. Thanks for showing up. All right. So I think what we're going to do, um, that night gear, I think probably we need to bring that into service. Um, the roughneck, I, th I think we can probably get rid of this now. While it was interesting, while it lasted, I don't think this is really going to uh, do what we want it to do. I like the fact that we can use the weapon mouse. It makes it really, really accurate, but... Um, I think having a 75 ton in place of that would probably be better. Yeah, or we can... Or do we remove this guy? I don't know. Let me think about it. I'm going to think about it. We do have an archer in storage. We have a night gear in storage now. Um, we got to figure out what we're going to do. Uh, Hades is, gonna, is taking a lot of damage. Uh, Grand Summoner. Both Grand Summoners took damage. 
Uh, wow, this is a lot of days here. So we want to bring the six up. Archer can go last. So six, 12, 12, 13 days and we're back. Yeah, let me think about it. Um, we're going to need to sell something. Um, but I'll worry about that between episodes, all right? We'll see what happens when we come back. So I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.